Hi, I'm Brent Hookstra, Analytical Product Manager here at OI Analytical. Behind me is the Flow Solution 3700 and FlowView software, our latest generation of automated chemistry analyzers. Our design philosophy in coming out with the 3700 was to really take all of the technological improvements we've made over the last 20 years and put them into an easy, user-friendly package. So, behind me is uh, one of the methods that we're proudest of and, and known for, which is total cyanide by uh, ASTM D7511. This is total cyanide with amperometric detection, UV digestion, and gas diffusion. This is EPA's gold standard when it comes to minimizing interferences and coming out with the most accurate cyanide number that you can. In addition to this, we also have available on this platform uh, ASTM D6888 and OIA1677, both of these methods for available cyanide. We have ASTM D7237 for free cyanide and the standard EPA 335.4 post-distillation cyanide with photometric detection. Samples are introduced utilizing an auto sampler and along with the reagents passed across a peristaltic pump and over to the distribution manifold. The sample fills the injection loop and when the FIA valve actuates, sample is combined with TA1, air segmented, and then sent down to the UV digestion coil located on the lower side of the analytical cartridge. After the metal cyanides have been disassociated, TA2 is added, the acidic sample stream passed on the lower side of a gas diffusion membrane, allowing cyanide to uh, pass across into an alkaline receptor stream, which is then flowed over to the amperometric cell where the cyanide is measured directly. OI has been really the leader in cyanide analysis for the last 20 years, and this is our latest generation of instrument really designed to focus on user experience and making instrumentation like this simple to use. Our um, calibration curves can easily uh, include four orders of magnitude and the methods developed on this platform for both cyanide as well as uh, uh, analytes like nitrate, phosphate, phenols, or ammonia are all uh, designed to comply with EPA ASTM, ISO, or standard methods. So this is the FlowView interface, our latest generation of flow analysis software. What you see before you is a simple menu aligned left to right, top to bottom. Uh, it's interfaceable with a, a Microsoft Surface so that it's designed to be a touchscreen interface. The first place you start is building a method. Here you set up all of the parameters for your run, including whether it's FIA or SFA, what the load time, cycle duration, heater, UV, and detector settings will be. You also choose how you want to quantify your peaks, either with height or area, as well as how to determine whether a peak is uh, has been detected. Once you set everything correct on this screen, you press save and you return to the home screen. From the home screen you can then load the method that you've created into Configure Analyzer. Again, this is a WYSIWYG interface or what you see is what you get. So in order to change the pump settings you would click on the pump and set the pump speed to whatever value you care it to be. If you need to change what methods will be run, simply check, select the channel area, select what methods are needed, and click Save. Lastly, for detector settings, choose your sample gain or your source intensity for photometric applications.
click save and all of the information is transferred over to the 3700. Cut for a second. Next you set your sequence using build sample table. From this screen you can create a new table or use one of the templates or prior runs that has been utilized. Set your standards and samples. Select one or more rows and each of those rows can be moved together as a group, copied, pasted, or deleted. Once you're satisfied with your sample table, click Save and return to the main screen. The next button from the home screen is Run Samples. From the Run Sample screen, you can start a new run or, as I already have a run in progress, monitor the run as data is being collected. I can also view my calibration, add additional samples to the sequence as long as they've not been grayed out at this point. So we could certainly have a sample come into the lab and say we need to run the sample next or perhaps maybe this sample needs to be the next sample that is run. Now that will be the next sample that is run. Once changes are made, everything automatically saves and your run continues until the sample table is completed. So from the home screen, you can choose view results and take a look at any previous data that's been collected or even the data that's currently being collected in real time. From here, we can take a look at all of the parameters that were used to collect this data. All of the uh, load time, cycle time, whether a heater was used, what the detector gain was, and even what the settings for the auto sampler were. We can also make modifications to the standard concentrations in case an accident has been made. Or from the sample table, choose to disregard samples and no longer use them in our calibration. All of these updates are applied immediately after, allowing us to take a look at our calibration results and see how good the curve fit is. We can switch from height to area after the fact, correct issues with peak marking, monitor any quality control parameters that were set during the run, and also make adjustments to peak discrimination. Once all of these things have been modified, the good news is there's no changes to the original data file. There is no save button over here. There's only a save as. Those changes can be saved anywhere on your network or to the local PC, as well as data can be exported anywhere onto your network so that it may be uploaded to your limbs. In fact, if you have a problem configuring your limbs or getting reporting the way that you want, perhaps you need the um, limbs ID currently here on the screen to be the first field. Simply click and drag it to the first field. Then click on export results and you'll notice that limbs ID is now the first field that will export. The last button on the screen is the Perform Maintenance button. This can be accessed at any time during uh, 
before or after a run. It will give you the state of the FIA valves, if equipped, what the temperatures are on your heated zones, if they are enabled. It will also provide a raw detector output for your amperometric or photometric detectors. You may manually control the auto sampler utilizing commands here. Manually take control of the pump, turn on or off the UV lamp, as well as see the firmware and codes and any errors that are produced by the software. Lastly, as an easy way to access any of the data stored by FlowView, you can click the Explorer database and it will go immediately into the directory where all of the methods, results, and sequences are stored. In addition to our methods for cyanide analysis, we also offer methods for ammonia, TKN, phenol, anionic surfactants, total phosphorus, total nitrogen, chloride, and all of these by ASTM, ISO, EPA, or standard methods. The throughput of these methods is 20 to 90 samples per hour. The 3700 as well as all of OI's products, are designed, built, and serviced here in the USA, actually over in College Station, Texas. So support's never much more than a phone call away, and we're looking forward to doing business with you soon.